Tyson Fury will finally face Alexander Uzik on February 17th, and more pros are putting their fresh predictions in for the fight. According to Philip Rogovich, this fight is about as even as it gets when it comes to two heavyweights. Philip stated, quote, I believe Uzik. I think it's a 50-50 fight, a hard fight for both of them, but I give Uzik a little bit of the edge in this fight because he's always in great shape, has great footwork, throws a lot of punches, and is a really good fighter. Roy Jones Jr. changed his prediction after seeing how Tyson Fury struggled with Francis Ngannou, and he stated, quote, My prediction before that fight was that Tyson would win, but it's going to be a lot tougher now because of the fact of the last fight. Tyson knew Francis Ngannou was a type of guy he wasn't supposed to struggle with, but I have to go with Tyson Fury. Lennox Lewis knows what Tyson brings to the ring, but he doesn't think that Uzek should be taken lightly. Lennox stated, quote, Uzek cannot be taken lightly. He's the undisputed champion under the heavyweights, and he hasn't lost. When he trains for a fight, when he boxes for a fight, there is mental and physical and Involved, so it's going to be a great fight. Whatever he does, he will come to win. He will pull out the stops. He's up against a different man. He's not up against a six foot seven guy. He's up against a six foot nine guy who boxes orthodox and southpaw and moves very well about the ring. I always say a good big guy beats a good small guy, so there you have it. Anthony Joshua is definitely thinking that Usyk might come away with a win in this one. If I'm going to be straight up, I'm leaning towards Usyk, um, but who knows? Who knows, innit? That's, they're both at the top of their game. I wish them well. I hope they have a great training camp. And once that fight's out of the way, the heavyweight division opens up again and all of us can start leading towards becoming champions. James Tony doesn't see Tyson losing in any instance, though. And he stated, quote, Fury, easy. Fury's a better boxer. He's a better boxer and he's more aggressive. Uzik, he's a great boxer, but he's not aggressive. He boxes to stay safe. Andre Ward thinks that this will be a very close fight. But after recent performances, he's questioning who will get the job done. Andre stated, quote, I think it's going to be a great fight. I'm glad Uzik is finally getting the fight. And given Fury's last performance, the odds have leaned in Uzik's favor. It's tight, but I think you have to lean on Fury finding a way to get this done. Evander Holyfield sees a weakness in Tyson's game that he thinks Usyk will take advantage of, and he stated, quote, There are things he doesn't do well. He doesn't fight inside real well. Nobody comes in quick to hit him with punches. It'll show when he fights Usyk. Usyk's a good fighter, but Usyk has got fast hands. He can fight inside, he can fight outside, so you will see a big difference. You've got to be a complete fighter to win all the time. Bob Arum gave Tyson a big warning about going in the ring against Usyk. You know you're not going to let me, let me say something about Usyk, and don't forget it. Ukrainians fight like nobody else in the world. People didn't give them a chance against Russia. So much bigger country, and they knocked the crap, and they're knocking the crap out of Russia. Don't bet against the Ukrainian. He is, I think Tyson wins that fight, but Usyk is going to give him everything that he has. Mike Tyson believes that Tyson will be able to wear Usyk down though, and he stated, quote, Tyson Fury will win. He'll overpower him. Usyk can't run that long with him. Tyson's going to wear him down. He'll get on him, wear him down, and then he's going to pound on him. Usyk's not going to win a title running. Usyk's not going to beat Tyson moving and running. At some point in the fight, he's going to have to fight. Fury's a different fighter to AJ. He's going to be more consistently on the guy, but AJ nearly stopped him with body punches. AJ was hurting him with body punches, but he was doing it often enough they're both at the top level with the net eat and you know they both have like their strengths and weaknesses and stuff and it's a, they're different fighters so they both have you know they're both very challenging they're at the top level but they're you know i'd have to prepare for them differently like I see tyson fury taller can switch long range very skillful and, uh, yeah and then usik is all well, the, the smaller guy for southpaw and like, you know how uh, technically good he is. It, so it's, they both, they're both really tough fighters to, to fight. Like technically, um, I think Fury can bang a bit more than Usyk, but Usyk has like is quicker and you know like he's got snappier punches. But then again, Fury's Fury's um, fast as well, and uh, put the combinations together. 
Uh, no, like yeah. Carl Frock has changed his prediction for the fight as well, and he stated, quote, 2024 is going to be a fantastic year, hopefully with a close humdinger with Tyson Fury and Uzik. I'm picking Uzik for that one, just because of where Tyson Fury is mentally. Hopefully, Tyson Fury can have a good camp and rekindle some of his old greatness in terms of when he fought Deontay Wilder three times. He looked good. He looked different every time. But I don't know if that's gone now. He struggles to get the weight off him. He seems under-motivated. When he fought in Ganu, he looked confused. Has he gotten old overnight? Hopefully he turns up and gets the job done because I want those titles to return to Britain. But at the minute, I think Uzik wins that fight. Johnny Nelson doesn't think that Uzik has much more skill than Tyson, and he sees Tyson being the bigger fighter. Tyson Fury can do everything Usyk does, but he's a bigger version of him. Uh, Usyk may have a bit of smooth about his work, but um, um, a good bigger big nose be a good little one. And you've got two good fighters, uh, and, uh, Tyson Fury. Uh, he knows every angle of fighting, to box, to bash, to box dirty, to box clean, to, to, to psychologically get into a man a uh, long time before the fight starts. But I, um, I, don't, I don't doubt Tyson Fury beats Susie. Deontay Wilder also sees the fight being a rather close one, and he stated, quote, It's a 50-50 fight. Anything can happen. People look at Fury's size as a major advantage, but that doesn't necessarily mean nothing because Uzik can stay low to the ground and because Fury's so tall, it's going to be difficult to reach down. If Uzik can get in and out real fast, I feel speed could be a major factor. For me, it's 50-50, and I'm glad it's finally happening so we get all the belts in one place. That's going to make it easier for me to fight for the unification of those belts, so I won't have to fight different champions and have champions running away because of what he's seen me do to the last opponent. Conor Ben doesn't think that the fight will be as close as most people seem to be thinking though. And he stated, quote, I back the Brit every day of the week and twice on Sundays. Every fighter has a bad day in the office and that might just be that. If his eyes are on the ball for the Usyk fight, I don't see Usyk getting near him. But if it's the same Fury that turns up against Ngannou, it won't end well. Teddy Atlas really doesn't think that he can side with Tyson Fury in this one though. And he stated, quote, how do you go against Uzik since he won the gold medal, unified the cruiserweight titles, stepped up to heavyweight, won the titles. Everybody was checking the boxes of all the advantages that Fury had over Uzik. He's bigger. He can fight on the outside. He can fight on the inside. Everybody loves Fury. From the beginning before this, I can't go against Uzik. I love Fury. Very well-rounded. And he had an off performance against Iganu. Maybe mentally he wasn't quite ready. Fury thought it would be easy. I can't go against Uzik because there's one box nobody's checking. Yeah, they're saying the other guy's got the jab, can box, he's the bigger man. Uzik has one asset that he's always had. You know what that is? He knows how to win. Even though Tyson Fury struggled in his last fight against Francis Ngannou, Gerald Miller is still picking him to beat Uzik. Gerald stated, quote, I think he still beats Uzik. He's the bigger guy, and he has that mean side in him that I haven't seen in Uzik yet. I'm still pulling for Tyson in that fight, and hopefully I can knock my boy out. Meanwhile, John Fury thinks that Alexander Uzik knows that he won't be winning the fight. This man here is a professional liar. He could have had the fight. He could have had 12 to 15 million, probably 17 million with advertising, everything else, it could have been busy. And, and all of a sudden now, where is he? He's getting six million against Devoir. Well, it's, it's ridiculous, because he knows when he meets a gypsy king, it's over for him. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.